Hello everyone, this is Energy Crisis, the energy drink report. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen and everyone watching. This is Energy Crisis, the energy drink report. Review bro, what is this exactly? I mean, what is this? You're saying Energy Crisis instead of Ron Van Empty? You're wearing the, the wing collar over the bow tie. You've got this. What is it? What's going on? Well, I'm doing an energy drink review. I, I, I always like being a little bit dramatic when I do these uh, energy drink reviews. Because I do them so infrequently nowadays. I think that's the best way to put it. It's like, it, it is a rarity. You know, you have to remember, when I started this channel, gosh, eight and a half years ago now, uh, all I did was energy drink reviews. That's all that I used to do. And, you know, when I do the food reviews now, which is, you know, predominantly when I do reviews, uh, you know, what I what I do most of the time, I always say running on empty, you know, and that's what it's always known for. But when I do the energy drink reviews, it's energy crisis. Remember, we're in an energy crisis. We need this caffeine to keep us going. And this is the energy drink report. And this is one of those reviews that I've wanted to do for a while. Uh, but I finally said, all right, fine, I'm just going to, I'm going to go in, I'm going to go for it, and uh, I'm just going to do it, because why not, right? If this is a, a bit of a re-review, I guess that's the best way to put it, because I originally tried out this drink, Monster Energy uh, Zero Ultra, back in 2013. So I already did this review, like, what was it, five and a half, six years ago, but... I wasn't satisfied with it. I was disappointed, though. I should mention, when I did this review back then in 2013, I was having a bad day, and uh, I wasn't I wasn't really feeling it either way. Uh, so either way, I kind of felt I was a little, you know, negatively biased in that review. And at the same time, a lot of people said, you know, I think the recipe for this drink changed in the meantime. Uh, obviously, as you know, it's gotten a, a huge renewed popularity. Uh, probably one of the most well-known energy drinks out there, Monster Energy Zero Ultra. Uh, you know, thanks to all the stuff with the, um, the the boomer memes, you know, a lot of people were... I'm actually amazed that's still going. Like, that's been going for over a year now, you know, where people are saying, oh, yeah, the first sip of the day, I'm gonna crack open a nice sip. Oh, those were the days. I remember back in 2013, I was drinking the Monster Energy Zero Ultra, and <laughs> I'm gonna go mow the lawn at... 5 a.m. or whatever they say, you know, all these, all the boomer. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the weirdest thing, to be quite honest. It is so weird, but either way. Yeah, so it's gotten a renewed popularity from that. And I'm surprised that meme hasn't died, to be quite honest. Um, because usually they don't, they don't have that long of a shelf life, but so, somehow it has. But anyway, ever since that became a thing, I've been getting one request after the next, and people were saying, uh, you gotta try this, you gotta try out the uh, Monster Energy Zero Ultra. So I am, I'm gonna give it a new shot. People were again really saying that it's a new recipe, that they were, you know, they're, they're doing something new with it. And who knows, it's been a while, it's been years since I last tried it. So maybe my own tastes have changed in the meantime and uh, we'll see. So anyway, Monster Energy Zero Ultra, the white can right there. And you can see, it kind of matches, just trying to get comfortable, it kind of matches the, um, a little bit of a tablecloth that we got going. There's that close-up view of it, right? There there I am with the uh, the sip, as they say. I can't, I can't say that with a straight face. Yeah, Monster Energy Zero Ultra, though. It's known, though, for having, all jokes aside and memes aside, known for having zero calories, zero sugar. Uh, so serving size to this, eight fluid ounces, two servings per container, Zero calories, zero fat, zero sugar. Uh, let's see what else it's got. Carbonated water, citric acid, taurine, sodium citrate, natural and artificial flavors, phoenix ginseng flavor, L-carnitine, L-tartrate, caffeine, uh, and so on and so, uh, so forth. Manufactured for Monster Energy. And if you don't know, whenever I do these, I always like reading the can. Monster Energy blend, taurine, L-carnitine, caffeine, inositol. Seven milligrams per eight fluid ounces, 140 milligrams per can. So, you know, some caffeine to give you a little bit of a boost. Not tons of caffeine, but, you know, it's a little bit anyway. Something that should should wake you up. And this is my favorite part, so get ready. I always, like, dramatically 
reading the little inscription right there. So let's do it. Monster Energy Zero Ultra. Some people are impossible to please. As soon as they get what they thought they wanted, they always want more. Our team, Riders and Monster Girls, are no different. They've been dropping some hints lately. They've been asking us for a new monster drink, a little less sweet, lighter tasting, zero calories, but with a full load of our Monster Energy Blend. Unbelievable. Sure, white is the new black. We went all out. Monster Energy Zero Ultra. Unleash the Ultra Beast. MonsterEnergy.com and then all the social media is there. Monster Energy Zero Ultra. Well, I've kind of said I think more than I even needed to say with this. Let's open it up. Comes with the little opener there. I always like going all out whenever we keep those. A little citrusy, honestly. How about we pour it out now? Poured the whole can out, why not, right? Very, um... It's carbonated. I don't know if you can really see the little... A little bit, anyway. You can see that it's definitely carbonated, and you can see it's got that translucent... Ah, oh, no, it's... No, you can't see through it. You can't. You know, it's, it's cloudy. That's the best way to put it. White, though, just like the... Just like the can. Grayish. Grayish white, really. And I'm going to try it out. I think we know everything that there is to it. Like they said, it, it, it has this little citrusy type of uh, scent to it. And I'll be interested in seeing what it tastes like. Maybe my tastes have evolved over the years. Maybe they haven't. Um, but again, when I last tried it, I was very disappointed in it. Uh, but maybe I won't be anymore, so I'm going to try it out. Monster Energy Zero Ultra. First time I've had this in about six years. Going in. No, it's not. Look, it's it's not bad. That's the one thing I have to say right here, first and foremost. It is not bad at all. You know, if you ever want, I, I don't know if anyone even notices, this is a similar in outfit as I was wearing when I originally reviewed this. It's the same wing collar shirt, same tie, but a different vest and different jacket. But I, this is as close to a rendition as I can get um, because the original vest and jacket don't fit anymore. But you can look, you can check the video from 2013 wearing the same thing, as close as I could anyway. I'm take one more sip. I mean, I guess it is the first sip of the day, as they say, but not the first caffeinated beverage of the day. But it is the first, well, it's actually the first sip of Monster Energy Zero Ultra that I've had in a good number of years, anyway. And I gotta tell you this. I am impressed. I don't know if they changed the recipe or if my taste just changed, because, again, you know, over time... Uh, with time, you know, there's certain things it's like, yeah, you tried it years ago and you hate it. Oh, I'm so disgusted with it. I hate this and so on and so forth. And then you try it again. And it's like, eh, actually, it's not bad. And uh, I got to say, I, I understand why people rave about this now. I mean, this is, you know, it's made me do a complete 180. I have to be completely and totally honest um, because I'm actually impressed with it. Again, I remember it didn't last time I tried it my recollection, it didn't have that citrusy type of flavor that it has now. Don't, don't get me wrong, it's not overwhelming. It's very light. It's not overwhelmingly carbonated, which I'm fine with, you know? It still has that sweetness, granted, which is from the artificial sweeteners. 
One thing that I remember I was really disappointed with uh, six years ago when I tried this was that I felt like the artificial sweeteners were just way too synthetic. You can taste that sweetness, but then that, you know, bitterness that the caffeine, of course, naturally has still made it through. And, you know, that was a big issue for me. This time around, though, I mean, it's definitely a lot sweeter. Again, considering that it has zero sugar, zero calories, I'm very impressed with that. Again, it's light, it's not as carbonated, which, again, I'm fine with. I don't, you know, I don't mind when the effervescence and, you know, isn't, in, isn't insane or anything like that. Um, but honestly, it's just, it's very light. It's got this smoothness to it. It's refreshing, don't get me wrong there. And it's got this little mild, aside from the sweetness, mild citrusy taste. And uh, it's just very interesting. But definitely, from 2013, a big improvement. Uh, definitely a very noticeable, you know, definitely a big improvement. Now, price for this was, um, it was a little more on the pricier side. I got this at 7-Eleven and it was around $3.50. So bear that in mind. Um, but I think other places sell it a little cheaper. I think you can buy it in bulk. So uh, unlike fast food, these are kind of just, you know, priced accordingly by the various retailers that are out there. So with that being said, out of 10, I'm going to be rating this. I mean, as far as the drinks go, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think, again, considering it has zero calories, zero sugar, they did a really good job with it. A huge improvement from when I tried it last in 2013. And, uh... I'll get it again. To, to be quite honest, I'll definitely get it again. I'm impressed by it. I think Monster did a good job. And again, I understand why, why people rave about this one. Monster Energy Zero Ultra. So definitely, probably will have a good kick to it. But again, considering the zero calories, zero sugar, they were able to do a lot with it. And it's a tasty drink. Probably, a, maybe a little bit better for you, uh, you know, synthetics and all that stuff aside perhaps a little bit better for you than the original monster as well. So that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. This is Energy Crisis, the Energy Drink Report, re-reviewing the Monster Energy Zero Ultra, and uh, I'm impressed by it. I'm, I am pleasantly surprised, and I'm glad. Uh, I think I will get this again going forward. On a final note, consider supporting this channel, the radio show, and the podcast on Patreon, patreon.com slash the report of the week. I am making exclusive videos for Patreon, though none of that stuff. Um, just, you know, get to know me better, some updates, and uh, just some fun stuff overall. So check it out. And also, the new podcast is out, youtube.com slash vorwpodcast. With that, thank you for watching, and do take care. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. <laughs>